Prince William could be about to cause a royal rift, with reports suggesting he's set to charge King Charles rent to stay at his family's <laughs> holiday home. The Prince of Wales has also asked his father to remove his belongings from the property, leaving the head of state, quote, disappointed by his son's actions. <laughs> Just doesn't stop, does it? I love it so much. <laughs> For more, we're joined by Royal Commentator Angela Moller. Hi, Ange. Uh, OK, shed some light on exactly what this means, because reading that, it sounds a little harsh. It does sound mm. harsh, but this property, which is in Wales, is one of many properties that the King has. It comes under the Duchy of Cornwall, which, of course, William took over when the Queen died. And he's basically realised that this house, that's rather cute, lovely cottage, um, is, is unattended. No one's living in it for most of the year. The, the King and Queen go there for a couple of weeks a year. William wants to rent it out to earn some money for the, uh, the, the Duchy of Cornwall State. and make sure that, you know, that it's being used. But one thing Charles has said, apparently he's quite miffed, but he's prepared to pay for a gardener. Because if you remember um, uh, William and Kate's wedding, those big maple trees mm. that were in the church, they have gone to that property and Charles wants to make sure that they're looked after. So there's a toperist, someone that trims all the bushes and ga a gardener to look after it while, uh, while even though he can't stay there and will have to pay rent. <laughs> So, so what's he... So, what? He can't. So, well, I reckon Charles, Charles still has his undies in the top drawer. Well, can, and William yes. says you've got to get them out because out. I want to put it on Airbnb. Exactly. For 500 quid a week. Well, <laughs> it's ridiculous. No, no, it's out. You can pay. If you want to go, Larry, it's $5,000 a week. I don't Australian dollars. <laughs> yes, you do. I you want to have a fossick in the drawers. I do not want to sleep in the same bed that Charles and Camilla have slept in. I want to go. Oh, yeah, would. I would too. Oh, you'd go. be all over that with you. Mm. Um, now, speaking of res residences, uh, the king, mm. he still hasn't moved into Buckingham Palace. He's not sure of a nice place to stay. The well, as we said, 12 other houses to, to choose from. Um, look, there's renovations taking place at Buckingham Palace. They're not going to be completed in 2027 and I very much suspect that Charles has sort of elbowed the bu builder and said, look, take as long as you like, mate. Nobody wants to move into the house. Yeah, the right. Queen didn't, the uh, Duke of Edinburgh didn't. It, there was a pe full-time pest controller uh, at Buckingham Palace when the Queen moved in because the place is riddled with mice. But yes, of course, Charles has lived at uh, Clarence House for 20 years. He loves that home. It's it's very special to him and so I think and if you imagine when it's finished in 2027 the king and queen are going to be you know turning 80 that's a very advanced age to be moving so they, house. They, they don't have to live there there's no compulsion they don't look it's just a... it's understood that they live there the fact that it is the, the sort of premier building that is related to the royal family and of course you have to stand on the balcony and you have to be associated with it but the thought that it's being heated and things like that oh, when yes, they're not yes, living yes, there yes. is yeah. you know somewhat questionable for the yeah, public. I, I wouldn't look there's no Look, apart from the balcony, there's no balconies. It's got little windows. That very little windows. Cold, drafty, mice-ridden. Mice. mice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on to some royal birthdays now. Queen Camilla had a twinning style moment yesterday when she celebrated her that's, 76th birthday. That's what right. Happened? She was down in Cornwall and there's lovely pictures of her. She's meeting with the public and there's a lovely little Aww. girl who's wearing virtually exactly the same dress. I'm sure the little girl's not very impressed to be uh, wearing the same frock <laughs> yeah. as a 76-year-old. <laughs> but this was, of course, the Queen's first uh, birthday since she's been Queen. There were gun salutes around the country, which is sort of makes you realise how this woman is now seen in the public imagination. She was once the most hated woman in, in Britain because... Of, you know, her relationship with the king and, king and now absolutely everyone loves her. 41 gun salute there. And of course, when they changed the guards, um, the band played Happy Birthday. So, yeah. Beautiful. Lovely. Monarch lovely. in charge. Now, <laughs> Prince George turns 10 on Saturday. They've booked mm. out the local McDonald's, we understand. <laughs> I very much doubt it. Right. Kate will be making a sugar free cake, I'm sure, oh, yes. at, at their home. Look, yes, he's turning 10. Of course, this invites the question how much does he know about what is going to happen? What is his life going to involved. We understand he was told around the age of seven that he was going to become the monarch, but unlike William, who's always said, you know, the information was passed on to him in a fairly scatterbrained, incoherent way, the, apparently uh, William and Kate are being very careful about how they deliver the responsibility and what's involved in yes. becoming oh, monarch. Yes, yes, yes. They Look would have him. learned from the mistakes, right? Look at him. He knows. He knows. It's like, it's Sunday, I'm wearing a suit, <laughs> yeah. and I'm here, and I <laughs> he, he knows what's to come. Uh, more on the soon-to-be team. Prince George won't be expected to join the armed forces. That's right. This came king. out at the weekend. Of course, every, virtually all his, you know, his grandparents, his dad, everybody, his uncle was in the military. In fact, um, uh, William was in all three services. He was in the Navy for a while and was involved in a massive cocaine haul. So, look, the great thing about them being in the military is that you're working alongside other people. It's very democratic. But I think what they're saying with this is that George will, of course, have a long time 
if, presuming that, you know, Charles lives to 100, like, or, you know, late 90s like his mother, and then, of course, William after him, he could be 50 or 60 before he becomes king. Yeah. So what he does has to be something meaningful to him. So whether that's a pastry chef or an artist or he does go into the military, what they're saying is that he can make that choice. I think a tattoo artist. He can set, <laughs> he can set up in that house that no-one wants. <laughs> Don't you reckon? The East Wing. The East mm -hmm. Wing. It's fun. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Thanks. That's just me, no one. <laughs> Oh, um, oh, we didn't mention the Markles at all. Okay. No, well, I think we'll have to get back to them later. Yeah, okay. There's got to be Markle news around somewhere. All right. So